so I've got an edit there. I think I'm missing one thing, and that's to put on some titles. I really need some titles, don't you think? So I can actually see who these people are. To do that, I'm going to use a titling program which comes with EDIUS called Quick Titler. There are various titling programs that you can use with EDIUS. Quick Titler is always included. The others you have to buy separately. Now to do a title, I'm going to come over to here on the timeline and click on the little T button. When you click on that, you've got various options. In fact, on this system, I've got different titling programs you can get for EDIUS, Quick Titler, Viz Title, and Heroglyph. I'm going to use Quick Titler. You might not have the others because you have to buy them. Now, out of all this lot, I actually want to choose this one, which is create a title in the T1 track. The T1 track is basically the specific titling track. In fact, it's this one down here. I know that says T1 and that says 1T. They are the same thing. I want to create it down here in the title track. Titles tend to go on the title track. They could go somewhere else. Right now, I'm going to create one on the title track. So I'm going to click on that, and it opens up quick title up, which is this program here. Puts the frame in the background of wherever you are on the timeline. In fact, I should have been over the top of Ringo, so let's move back to Ringo. Just as a reference, because you know, when you're typing, you need to see if the words are going to show up against your video. Quick Titler basically does static titles, it does rolling titles, and it does crawling titles. I'm just going to do a static title. It doesn't do animated characters, each letter popping up and down and text on a path and stuff like that. That's what you might get one of the other titling programs for. If you just start uh, basic titles, perhaps with a little box on it, then Quick Titler is a great thing to use. Now it sits here and you can see I've got a cursor flashing away there. It's all ready for me to type something. So I am going to say Ringo. And I've typed in the words Ringo DBC Technical. They're up there. I don't want them up there. I want them somewhere lower down. So I'm going to just click on the arrow key and then grab hold of them and move them. Now you might look at that and say, you know, that's actually quite a bit fuzzy. That looks really horrible. Uh, if I've got a device for showing the picture onto a TV like an HD Spark or something like that, you'll be seeing this right now on your TV and you'll be saying, that looks horribly fuzzy. I don't want to use that. Basically, Quick Titler works in a draft mode once you're settling up the titles, and then once you've finished, they go into nice, sharp quality. If you want to see what sharp quality looks like right now, press the F3 key. And that is actually what the title is going to look like. You can see the title is actually white characters, but with a black outline. I always like black outlines. It makes everything stand out. Where am I going to stick it? You know, I could do with some guides here, basically, to help me arrange it. You've got to remember that most TVs overscan. Most televisions actually chop the edges of your picture off. Even today's high-definition flat-screen TVs tend to be set up to chop the edges of your picture off. So you can't afford to stick the title down there, otherwise bits of it might get chucked off. I really need some guides in here to help me. And to do that, I'll click on this little button and it'll put up some guides for me. And basically that says, you know, you put the title in there, you'll be fine. You'll have a nice little gap here between whatever gets chopped off and where the title is. So I, I like that, I'm gonna put that right there. I can do all sorts of things, like I can come down here and I can change the typeface, I can change the size, I can change the tabbing, the colors, lots of stuff I can do. We'll talk about a quick title a bit more in depth later on. Right now, what I'd like to do is just put two, the two lines together, I think, because frankly, I think they're a bit far apart, and that's the leading of the two lines. So I'm just going to grab hold of that. And very nice thing about EDIUS, wherever you see a text box inside of EDIUS, like I see this naught here, if I pop over to it with the mouse, and then just hold down with the left mouse button, I haven't done anything apart from move over it and hold down on the left mouse button. If I drag upwards, it makes the number bigger, if I drag downwards, it makes the number smaller. And in this case, I want to put those two lines a bit closer together. F3. Yep, quite happy with that. Click on the little X. Do you want to save the title? Yep. And there we are. I've got a title now which has gone in on the timeline. It's gone down here on the T track, the title track. We haven't used this before. It's a specific track EDIUS has for titles. Titles can go on the video track. Yep, the video there, that title is on top of the video. You can see it. Nothing wrong with that at all. It looks just the same. But 
undo it and put it back where it was. What's great about going on the T-Track is that you'll put it on there and it'll put a little crossfade on, a one second crossfade at the start and the end of the title for you straight away. Whereas if you put it on the video track, you've got to put your own cross dissolve on it. It's one of the reasons I like using title tracks. It makes life a bit quicker. The title has gone in at about six seconds, which is my default for titles. Um, actually, it's probably a little bit too long because Ringo's name appears over to me, which is just going to be very confusing. Also, it starts a bit late. So first of all, I want to grab hold of it. I'm going to put the cursor over the top of it, hold down the left mouse button and just drag it down the timeline a bit so it starts a bit earlier. And then I want to finish it just there, just before I come in. I'm going to make it a bit shorter. How do I do that? Exactly the same way I trim the video. Come down to the edge, click on it, drag. Then stick the cursor just before it, press the play button. I wanted to ask you about AVCHD. How easy is it to edit? Yeah. Well, it's pretty easy to edit the can't see the title underneath this thing. This thing here is called the status display. Very useful because it shows you the audio levels and it shows you where you are on the timeline. Sometimes it gets in the way. In my case here, it's getting in the way, so I want to turn it off. I'm going to pop up to the view heading, go to on-screen display, status. And that turns it off. I can always bring it back again. View, on-screen display, status, brings it back. For now, I want to get rid of it. So I can see my title in all its glory. And now I want to come in and put another one on me. So I'm going to stick the cursor roughly where I want it to start. Come over here, say create title in T1 track. And I'm going to type in, grab hold of the leading and move them together just like I did with Ringo. Pick up the title and move it down here. Quick F3. Yep, that's fine. I could do other things. I could put a box behind the back of it. I could use any of these pre-made textiles down here. Just double click on it. And you can see you get all sorts of different textiles. Text styles, not types of cloth, text styles. An awful lot of, frankly, hideous looking ones. Let's leave it hideous looking green because obviously I'm very environmentally friendly. I don't like the white outline because it's not making it stand out against me. I'd like to change that to black. So select the words pop over to here and I've got lots of different things around here but one of them is edge. Well I guess that controls the color of the edge. Let's click on that and make it black. F3 you can see what it looks like. That's better. That's better. I like that better. Now I want to get out of this I'm just going to come over here and click on the little X just to get out of it. I could come up to here to file and then close but I tend to always come over here to the X. But now I've got me. I've gone at my default five seconds. If I want to be very diplomatic, I could make my title last a roughly the same length as Ringo's. How long is Ringo's title? How long is mine? I'm not entirely sure, but if I click on Ringo's title and come over here to the information window, it tells me Ringo's title is three seconds and four frames. So let's come over to mine. Mine is 3 seconds and 13 frames. Let's grab hold of the end. And as I'm dragging, let's just look at the numbers. As I'm dragging, we well, can see the little tool tip that's popped up down there. It's telling me all sorts of stuff. The TL section is telling me where it is on the timeline. The SCR section is telling me different information about the source and the start and the end, blah, blah, blah. Let's look at the end. The bit that says DUR, duration. There we are, I want that to be 304. There we are, I've basically got in there two titles of roughly the same length. Let's play them. I wanted to ask you about AVCHD. How easy is it to edit? Well, it's pretty easy to edit the stuff these days, as long as you've got an up-to-date computer and the right editing. Yep, that's it, two titles. Now, I could do a lot more with this. I could do some color correction. I could do a bit of image correction. Frankly, looking at that shot, it's actually slightly tilted because I didn't even get the tripod correct. I could correct all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to. What I want to do now is actually to make a disc out of this.